The um, family arrived at around approximately 1936. My uh, grandfather came here. He was working for another butcher's for a short period of time. He opened up um, the doors here in 1940. Um, comes from a German background. Um, There's lots of others of his brothers set up pork butchers around Ireland in Tume, in Westport, Castlebar, and Longford. Um, well, we opened here in 1940, and he married my grandmother, who was a Carrick, a well-known name back in the day in Galway. Um, and yeah, they opened up the shop here in 1940. They lived upstairs and had two sons, my father and my uncle. And um, yeah, we see it from there. It was hard, obviously, kind of thrown in the deep end um, at the start, but really got to love it very, very quickly. It um, allows you to be extremely creative. Um, I used to be a musician when I was younger, so it's kind of, I always find there's a direct correlation between the two. I find that, like, being able to work with flavours and um, coming up with new cuts and everything like that. Uh, the creative part of it was one of the elements that I loved, and also just the hands-on physicality of the work. And it's basically like a go-away institution, um, and it was really important for me to keep that going and keep it alive. Yeah. Our product list would have been a lot, lot less at the time. When I came in here initially, I could see the trends were changing. People were going to the supermarkets a lot more, and that the supermarkets were coming up with very direct ploys to have these what seemed to be like family-run businesses um, supplying them, which weren't in fact at all family-run businesses, they were just, you know, names put on packages. Um, so within my first couple of years here, what I wanted to concentrate on a lot was keeping the tradition going, but also develop the wholesale side of it to get us, our name into every kind of restaurant around town that we could. And we do encourage people to shop a lot more local. Um, and like myself and a lot of the other suppliers kind of do it between us um, to try and remind people, you know, that what you're getting with us is like the real deal. Um, but the supermarkets, yeah, they're very, they're very clever in their ploys of kind of, you know, things like it'll say 80% meat on the package, but the more important question is what kind of meat, where does it come from, do you know, everything like that. Um, and kind of customers are generally a lot more knowledgeable now than they were, say, three years ago about the whole supermarket thing. We know every single one of our customers um, that come in. Um, we chat with them, we have a great time, we shoot the breeze, they give us great feedback on all of our um, products. Um, and if we notice a new com customer thing, one thing we always do, because we know our customers so well, if we spot one new person come in, we engage with them, we give them the whole product line, and they always leave with something for free as well, um, just so they walk away with that kind of good feeling. Um, and generally, once you have one new customer, they'll be a customer for life after that as well. You get like direct feedback and you know what you're doing right, you know what you're doing wrong, you know. So yeah, they're, yeah the most important thing really is the customers and as well as that, having a very good relationship with the chefs and the whole side of things. This year was our first year entering any kind of um, competition with the uh, Associated Craft Butchers of Ireland. That'll be our kind of version of the Restaurants Association Awards. So we entered in four products. And we were really shocked and surprised that we came back with uh, three goals and one runner-up. And that was for the smoked chipotle, the uh, sweet Italian, um, the lao and the Spanish morcilla. Um, and the lao then, we went to the K Club for the finals. And the lao, which was Jeff Ryan, who works here, he used to be a chef, um, came up with one runner-up in that. So we got, came up with a trophy from the finals, which was fantastic. We were over the moon. And between, between me and the lads, the team that we have, it is like a family, you know, everybody has their input, everybody has their say. If anybody needs looking after, if anyone has a sick day or something comes up, everyone jumps in and looks after each other. So that's, um, it's a really, really important part of the business. It's integral to it. And yeah, anything that we've kind of done now for the past while is, a lot of it is down to the great staff that we have, you know, and it allows you to kind of be creative and come up with more things. And, like half the lads that have worked here have been chefs, so they come up with fantastic ideas and things like that, you know. So, yeah, I like stealing their ideas a lot, <laughs> which is great.
it wasn't at all part of my life growing up. Um, the way I ended up in it is kind of through a lot of tragic circumstances. Um, but once I was in here, I absolutely kind of loved it and fell into it and yeah, just um, took to it really quickly. Um, it was never a plan for me to be in here, but yeah, it's the way things worked out and yeah, absolutely love it now.